Hello, my name is Vesel Pretorius and I'm an actor, a writer and a theatre maker. I think the value of the performing arts for any child would lie in developing empathy. Um, being able to put yourself in the shoes of another human being um, and understanding what led to the character's choices and why. Because one of the big things we, we learn not to do is judge our characters. And I think it develops empathy and you get a, a bigger sense of, of the emotional landscape of people around you. Um, it also, for me particularly, gave me a great deal of, of confidence um, to open my mouth in front of people without feeling judged. Um, and just going, um, just dealing with material that has, that is outside of your frame of, of reference, it really does broaden your general knowledge, it broadens your understanding of the world. And um, I know that even if I wasn't practicing um, theatre, um, just going to the theatre has also broadened my, my scope immensely because you're part of a, it's almost like you're part of a, a holy experience. It's, you're sitting in a space, a live space, sharing energy with a, an artist on stage. And that transition, which is so delicate, it really does alter you on, a, I would say, on an almost cellular level. Um, and it, it stays with you for the rest of your life. If I could give any advice to a young person who wants to go into the performing arts, it would be to firstly make absolutely sure that this is something that you want to do for the rest of your life because it is all consuming and it, there's a lot of sacrifices um, on very various fronts. But if you decided that this is something that you want to do and this is a, there's a, that's where your home is for the rest of your life, then I would say um, if you can, go and study it and go and study it well and throw yourself into it and get as much from that experience as you possibly can. Do as much practical work as you can, read up about as much as you can and then if you don't have the means to go and study, there's a thing in yoga called Svetyaya and it's self-study and it's one of my favorite things when I'm now, which I kind of treat the 10 years after I've graduated like an extended postgraduate course, so I like to watch as many films and as different variety of films and read about it and read plays and find out about, I mean, my knowledge on style, my knowledge on genres, my knowledge on directors and what can be done in theatre has grown vastly since I've graduated. So I would say get stuck in and, and also if you, if you, I know this sounds, it's such a cliche, but I've felt that in my life if I think about something long and hard enough, with passion and clear-mindedness, and I know I'm in it for the right reason, it really does manifest. Maybe not in the exact way that you thought, but sometimes in a much better way too. In terms of treating uh, my career like a business, I would say it was, and it's a, I'm still learning. <laughs> It's not the easiest thing in the world. I'm not very good with money. Um, I think they should probably, add, when they teach you how to be creative or how to manage your creativity, they also need to teach you how to create, manage your bank account. But uh, after I graduated, I started writing my own plays because I wanted a certain amount of um, autonomy um, and independence. And because I also knew as an actor, I wasn't going to get the kind of work that really makes me tick you know, anytime soon and I was also very um, um, impatient to start working. And so I started writing and from the writing people started asking me to write plays for them and then I started performing solo shows and the solo shows I couldn't afford to get a stage manager, I couldn't afford to hire a director, so I kind of did everything myself. And um, eventually the projects grew bigger and bigger and I learned how to manage money, how to um, know what the, t an audience is looking for, I knew how to market my shows better and you kind of try it out so I, I can go more commercial if I feel like that's what the audience needs and then I can also go more into a more sort of artistic lyrical side of, of my writing. Um, and I've, I've become less precious about letting my sort of 
deep artistic need to be in a, the Pina Bausch of it all. I can let it go and give it uh, more of a sort of a, uh, I can be more sort of gracious towards the audience and provide an audience the story that I feel would make them or, um, escape.